Hi everyone, um, I got this idea of this video after discussing with uh, one of my clients. Um, just to let you know that I have found as well the solution of implementing it thanks to a video of Julian Juneman about uh, Google Tag Manager landing page trigger. So I didn't create it all on myself, I just inspired by, um, uh, by Julian here. Um, so um, let's um, let's let's go for it so the idea is to trigger um, a custom dimension based on an entry page typically uh, that can be useful when on a given website you have a different type of content and uh, some content which are definitely uh, targeting one specific visitor type so let's imagine that you have a website on which you have pages which are for companies pages which are for kids pages which are for older people and so on and so forth. And you would like, based on the entry pages, so the fact that someone's coming from a search engine or LinkedIn or whatever, and coming straight to one of those pages, category of pages that I mentioned before, you want to trigger a custom dimension according to it. So to say someone entering from um, on your website on a um, uh, category of pages, which are definitely for companies because uh, the let's say the fares, the prices that you have are definitely for companies and not for uh, individuals. Then you want to label those people coming by those pages as entry pages as a company and not an individual. So this is what it's all about. Uh, it, it's not that difficult to um, implement once you understood the, the trigger uh, condition. So the trigger condition is when the referrer is not uh, your main domain. Okay, that, that's the thing. Because if it's not the main domain, then it means that it's a pure uh, referrer, which is the previous page. And if it's the previous page is an external source, it means that the current page is a landing page. Okay, so th that's, that's, the, that's the trigger thing. Once you have uh, the trigger on, of course, you can decide to filter it uh, over here according to the type of pages that you have on your website. So uh, let's imagine that all your company page start with a folder name uh, slash companies or anything like this. You can add over here a page URL contains company uh, and that, that's it. Okay. And, and then uh, the two conditions will need to be uh, both met in order to fire the associated tag, which in my case is kind of simple. I just named it visitor type. I just associated the trigger, which is refer URL does not contain my domain name. And then I have my variable, which of course contain my custom dimension. But in my case, I uh, hard coded it just for simplicity. I put it over here, which is index number two company. So here, if um, I'm on my uh, LinkedIn profile that I clicked on uh, the website, which is targeting back to my website, I will get as a result, uh, I get as a result so this page I'm landing on, which is the home page, and I will get in fact my Matomo configuration visitor type variable filled in with uh, the value name company for the referral name LinkedIn.com, which of course makes sense, and then I will get my um, uh, my uh, custom dimension filled in with the information company. And end of the story. Uh, so that's what I wanted to show you. So it, the basic concept uh, I just showed to you, it's not me who created it, it's really the video of Julian who helped me a lot, which is about the landing page is defined by the host name, which is different uh, from yours. And then you can filter it out additionally with the page URL that you have on your website in order to create those different, let's say, profile personas of people. And then you can fire the custom dimension according to it. And then after it's just a matter of not having your tags uh, bumping each other by just adding some excluding uh, rule in order, of course, for your main uh, page view tag uh, to not be fired at the same time. If not, you will get exactly the same result as I have here, which is like this page is loaded and it's sending like two visits at the same time. So we, you will have to exclude this one in order to just have this one counted. As you can imagine, it's opening many, many different possibilities, such as just firing the, the tracking code just for people coming from LinkedIn or a specific source of traffic and just 
send those information out. Uh, you have as well another way of identifying companies. If you get like a list of internet access service provider, which are just for companies, and then you exclude the general one, the one of peers, in order to just get the one of companies and send visitor type as company. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.